Folks, we are gonna compare a root grapple versus a root rake. And those two terms right there are often misconstrued or maybe have other names as well. And so it gets very confusing. But what I'm gonna do is take you through two different styles of grapples, the two most popular styles of grapples that are out there and give you the pros and the cons of each. If you follow along with the channel, you know that Ironcraft is a new manufacturer that we've been working with. They aren't new, they're just new to Good Works Tractors. We um, happened to have some great conversations with them at the farm show down in Louisville this past winter. They used to be formerly called Titan, all right? And there was some confusion with the other Titan company that's out there. This is, in my opinion, the higher quality of those two companies. And so they rebranded as Ironcraft and this is one of their economy grapples, the economy root grapple. We're gonna also compare that against the economy grapple rake. Now the key word is economy. That's the one you wanna pay attention to in this comparison. These are gonna be two really affordable grapples in the grand scheme of things. We've shown you a lot of very high end and really you know, just kind of the, the high strength steel, AR400, fancy design, all that kind of stuff, grapples, which are awesome. I'm not gonna knock those at all, but it's out of the budget for a lot of folks too. And so these are at the bottom, the lower end of the price point. They're not sacrificing quality. So let's go through it today, show you more about these two particular products and then describe those differences so you can make a more informed decision. Now the Ironcraft Economy Root Grapple is gonna come in a variety of sizes. This model here is 48 inches wide, weighs in at 291 pounds. You are gonna have models available in your typical sizes, right? The, the 60 inch, uh, the 72 inch, I think there might be a 66 and a 78. We'll have all that information on our website so you can go there to check it out. Now these bad boys are made in America, all right? Ironcraft has their own manufacturing facilities here in the States to produce these grapples, so you're not getting some Chinese-made product that's being imported here, so that's a really big bonus, especially at those kinds of price points. But I wanna touch on weight, all right? And this is a little bit heavier than what I would typically like to see on like a subcompact. Now, the Summit TX25 can handle this, a little bit of extra weight, maybe an extra 50, 60 pounds heavier compared to some of the bare minimum smallest grapples that you'll see out there. But that weight is actually not the fault of the grapple, it's just the design. And root grapples are going to be a heavier grapple in general compared to the, the grapple rake, the brush grapple, the root rake, whatever you want to call it, those, those shorter tine grapples that we see a lot of these days. Those just have less material on them, so they weigh less. Just makes sense. So what kind of makes this a root grapple? Well, the biggest feature of this is gonna be that long, flat bottom jaw, right? And it's got some teeth that kind of wind up at the end down here, but that is what a root grapple is. It's gonna have a big old clamp on the top and the bottom where you can get underneath something and kind of pick it up and lift it and carry it. A big misnomer, in my opinion, is the fact that a grapple rake with the short tines, the short bottom jaw, can't do that. It can still pick up all that stuff. It's just gonna clamp down from the top. You know, you have that functionality to roll it and clamp down from the top instead of scooping underneath it to pick it up. It's just a different way of clamping down on something. So we typically sell more of this style on the bigger tractors, right? If you're in a three series or a four series or shoot, even for skid steers, we sell a lot of this style as well. That can handle more weight. And honestly, the more that I use the other style, the rake style, the more that I prefer it. I really don't see a lot of benefit to this style. Uh, the root grapple with the long bottom jaw, if you have your load held closer to the machine, like you would with a grapple rake, that's more potential lift capacity. The further something is out away from your loader, the less weight you can lift with it, all right? And so on the smaller tractors, that is really critical when you don't have a lot of lift capacity to begin with. So not only do you get that extra lift capacity keeping it closer to the loader, but you also get extra lift capacity because those grapples weigh less. We are proud to be sponsored by RimGuard Solutions, a liquid ballast weight. It goes right inside your tires, completely hidden, we're big on safety on this channel. These tractors are just too light and tippy right out of the factory. Not only is it gonna help with safety, keeping those rear tires planted on the ground, it helps with loader efficiency and traction too. The benefits of RimGuard include being the heaviest all natural liquid ballast weight on the market. It's not gonna corrode your rims like the old calcium chloride. It's not gonna freeze. And it's available at over a thousand dealers nationwide. Find the dealer near you at RimGuardSolutions.com. So one of the nice features about this grapple is that you can get most of the sizes in single or double jaw. Now the 48 inch is only available in single jaw on the top jaw, but once you get to the 60, the 66, 72, 78, those are all available in the single or the double top jaw. Of course, you're gonna pay more for a double top jaw. It's also gonna weigh more as well. So there's those trade-offs to consider, but having independent jaws to clamp down on things can help give you a more secure load if it's gonna be an uneven pile of debris uh, that you're tackling or even an, you know, a, a big log that's tapering down and you clamp down nice and tight on one side. 
if you only had one jaw, it's gonna leave the other side maybe hanging loose, but if you have an independent second jaw, it can close further and squeeze down tight to have a more secure bite. Now, what do you need to have in order to operate any of these grapples, right? A hydraulic grapple is gonna require two things. Number one, you need to have a quick attach, and these are gonna be available in a skid steer quick attach, like what you see here, the two levers you pull and release, or available in a John Deere quick attach, the JDQA, that has the hooks on top and the pins on the bottom. The other thing that you need to have is gonna be a third function or a diverter. Some additional hydraulic circuit on the front of your tractor to open and close the jaws of those grapples. You have the two basic functions that are gonna work with the loader, right? To raise the loader off the ground, lower it back down, and then curl and roll the bucket, or the grapple in this case. But that third function is what you need to open and close the jaws of the grapple. Now, you know, it's, it's just my opinion that I prefer the grapple rake style. The next style that I'm gonna show you Everybody's gonna have their own take on it. You know, maybe some are, you know, they think are more robust uh, than others. Maybe they're gonna open and have wider jaw openings than others. And it's just kind of personal preference. And again, I, I think a, a big consideration on a grapple is gonna be the size of your tractor. And those smaller tractors need to really watch their weight. Uh, the bigger the tractor that you have, it's not gonna be as big of a consideration. You might look at uh, other features like the jaw openings or, um, the double jaw clamping versus a single jaw, that kind of thing. And, and price is always a concern too, no matter what size tractor you have. Now, something you'll often see and worth consideration is the spacing, all right? On a root grapple style versus a rake style, normally, not always, depends on the manufacturer, the rake style is gonna have closer tines, um, smaller gaps for debris to not as easily fall through and kind of trap it and drag it along. On a, on a style like this, you're gonna have bigger gaps in there where it's gonna be easier for our debris to fall out and fall through, I guess, which could be a good thing depending on what you're looking to do with it. Again, at the end of the day, I don't know how much that kind of stuff matters a whole lot. I've used a lot of different grapples and that kind of a, a detail hasn't influenced me in a positive or negative way, but maybe you have a certain application where that would be worth considering. So now let's kind of juxtaposition that against a root rake or a brush grapple or a grapple rake, you know, things that have kind of rake in the name. And so normally with that, you're gonna see a, a short bottom jaw, like what you have here that's more vertical, you know, maybe a little bit of a, a swoop forward, like what you have, just a touch of that on the bottom. But primarily that bottom jaw is gonna be able to kind of push debris along, rake things along the ground, so roots and, 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 and just other general debris um, leaves even, shoot, you can push a whole big pile of leaves if you want to and just clean up an area really nicely. But at the same time, you can still certainly, look how wide this opening is. You can certainly roll this whole grapple forward, clamp down on a log, clamp on a big pile of brush and whatever else and, and pick it up and move it around. And so with a root grapple where you had that large flat bottom jaw to kind of slide and, and, and get underneath something, you're just picking it up in a different manner with a rake style grapple. So I get excited about this style of grapple just cause I, I just prefer it, you know, just using a lot of different grapples. I just love this style. Um, it's also lighter. This is 33, 34 pounds lighter compared to that one, still a 48 inch width, um, but substantially lighter. So that's, I don't know, 12% lighter, something like that. That's a big deal on a smaller tractor with limited lift capacity. And again, because the shorter bottom jaw, that means when you're clamping a load, you're clamping it all back here tight to the loader. That means you get more lift capacity out of it that way too. So it's kind of a double whammy with the lighter weight and the increased lift capacity because of the position of the load. In general too, I think that the rake styles are, are braced a little bit better than the root style. Um, you can see all this cross bracing here, here, here. Tubes all across. On the shorter bottom jaw too, you have a tube going here, your big uh, square tubing there, and of course right here in the middle where everything's tied into. But there's not really a lot of, uh, well there's no sections of long tine length that are going unsupported. Um, you tend to run into that, not that it's critical in the areas that they are, but there's longer runs or longer spans of unsupported steel 
on the tines on a root grapple in general. It's just the nature of the application. If you add more cross bracing, you're really gonna add on the weight and the price too. Similar to the root grapple, a lot of different sizes available, if I remember correctly. 48, 54, 60, 62, and 72, and a single jaw. They are gonna have a couple of the larger models. You really had a, gotta have a wider grapple in order to have two separate jaws on the top, and so the smaller ones just aren't conducive to that. So I think it's the 60 or the 66 inch when they start to um, offer a double jaw on the top. And again, that's gonna increase your weight, that's gonna increase your cost too. You have not just more steel up top um, for more material costs there, but also an, an entirely second hydraulic cylinder and hoses that are going along with it too. Now generally speaking, rake style grapples are going to be a little bit more expensive than root style grapples. I don't make grapples so I don't know the reasons why but I just know from experience selling them that is a uh, general norm where they are going to be a little bit more expensive. There may be, well I'd like to say that there's there's more steel but they weigh less, so there's gotta be less steel. Maybe it's the type of steel, maybe it's just the engineering that goes into the design. Um, there's certainly some reasons to it, but that's one of the downsides I will say to getting the, the rake style is they are typically a little bit more expensive. So folks, there you have it, you know, some facts, some opinion. It can still be a tough choice and I totally get that. If it were me, I would go with the grapple rake. I just think the added benefit of the lighter weight, the ability to kind of push those debris piles along the ground, you can still grapple everything by going over top of it. We've shown you that with other grapples that we've um, featured on this channel. Again, the price point is a little bit more, but you know, you're, that's a one-time purchase, right? And that purchase is hopefully gonna last you the life of the tractor that you have too. And so if that's 10 years, you're talking, I don't know, maybe 10% extra over the course of 10 years is nothing uh, in the grand scheme of things to have some extra versatility, more capacity out of your out of your loader liftability there. For me, that's the right trade-off that I would make. But if you're going for bare minimum rock bottom pricing too, typically the root grapple is gonna be cheaper. So we're gonna keep showing you more of the Ironcraft attachments. We got a whole bunch of other stuff to show you too. Now these particular units, I wanted to get these in because they're high volume sellers, unsurprisingly for Ironcraft. And so they're either in stock or a very short lead time. And what you're able to do is go to our website, get the size that you want, John Deere Quick Attach, Skid Steer Quick Attach, order it on our website. We're gonna submit that order to the factory and then they're gonna pack it up right there and get it shipped direct to you. That helps keep the overall cost down instead of having us bring it into our warehouse and then ship it back out. We wanna get you the best value we possibly can an American-made product at a great price point. So find that at goodworkstractors.com as well as anything else you might need for your front-end loader and your three-point hitch. We've done over 700 videos on our YouTube channel all about tractor stuff, so if you wanna see how these tools work, or maybe how not to use them or different projects, where to get started, or the tools you need for certain projects too, check out those other videos. We'd love to have you tag along. I wanna thank you for taking time out of your day to stop by, and until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon. Yeah.